Eurovision Song Contest 2016 here in Stockholm, Sweden. My name is Jola Radovir and we reached the first goal on our journey, semi-final number one. And we have 10 extremely happy delegations backstage just waiting to meet you, the press, and all our online viewers all over the globe. I will kindly ask you all in here to be seated as soon as possible so we can start this press conference. Dear artists, come together, country by country, and we start with Hungary! Give them your love, dear colleagues. Pretty? The other way. The other way. Yes, please. And we go on with Croatia! Armenia, yeah, there we go. Armenia, Eventa, welcome. Russia, once again. The Czech Republic. I was a little bit too fast there. And then we go with Cyprus. And then we go with Austria. Now it's time for Azerbaijan. and photographers. Go and get them. If you want to. No? No one? Okay, then we start over here. Good, 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 good. Freddie, tell me about the feeling when you saw your flag and name come up on the screen. Actually, we were all thrilled, I guess. Uh, yeah, welcome Barney here on my side. Uh, we were thrilled. We did everything we could. Uh, I mean, uh, we gave it everything. Uh, we brought all the energy that we had. And I think that's how our song actually works. Uh, we were trying to express it very hard with that our song is uh, actually having. So I really hope a lot of you could feel that. Uh, because I died on that stage tonight. Um, in order to be able to raise the Hungarian flag as high as possible. Uh, so thank you very much for your voting and I really hope that a lot of you could relate to our song. Perfect. Thank you. Well, we have some local press from Hungary. Wave your hand so we can see you. Local no. press? Local press from Hungary. No one? Over there? Where? Stand up please so we can see you. And we'll get a microphone as soon as possible. Over there, over there, we have a gentleman with the hat. Put the hat on. I think it's easy to see oh, you right, that yeah. way. <laughs> Turn the microphone. Perfect. Okay. So, Freddie, congratulations to this wonderful position, gaining into the final. And my question is, like, uh, now, what is your message to the Hungarian people? You can say in English, of course. We will translate it. Yeah. For, um, first of all, uh, I thank them all actually um, to let us, you know, be able actually being here because um, this is. An ultimate honor and uh, I really hope a lot of them uh, are actually proud of us right now because we were working really really hard uh, to get here but we are still nowhere yet uh, we still have a lot to do and that's what we are about to do uh, we would like to make them proud and uh, for, for us for me it is actually the most important thing 
to make Hungarian people uh, proud. Not because of me, but because of our beautiful country. Thank you. Right. A question from international press. Anyone? Please stand up and raise your hand. It's much easier because this place is crowded now. No one? Okay, ready. We'll do this one. It's time to pick where you're going to be in the final. You show it to the camera. Here we go. The first off of the final. Congratulations once again. Nina, Cestita, congratulations. Hi. Surprised? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Uh, you one of the favorites from the start. Uh, I'm a little bit in shock right now. Um, because in, even in Croatia there were mixed uh, emotions. Some of them unfortunately wanted us to fail. So this is for <coughs> them. Really because... It was so hard. It was really, really hard and I wanted us to go to the finals because we were there for seven years and I did my job. And I'm proud of my team, I'm proud of my country, I'm proud of everybody who was supporting us and voting for us. Thank you so much uh, from my heart, really. Thank you. Then we have any local press from Croatia, from Zagreb. Everybody's waiting with the flags. So here, cool here, here, here. Over there, at the back, in the blue. Yeah. <laughs> On the balcony, Hi. the lady in the blue there. Can we have a microphone to her? Or thank you very, very much. So. Hi. Oh, Nina. Uh, Emilia Giacometti from Eurosum uh, First. Congratulate! You don't know how my heart is now beating. <laughs> my also. <laughs> yeah, and uh, you also don't know that on our Facebook page, uh, your video now has almost 300 likes, maybe more. Wow. And uh, my question is, do you feel so pressure since we didn't, we weren't in the finals since 2009? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot of pressure, not only because of that, but because of everything. You probably know because you, you experienced the things that were happening uh, inside. Uh, and this is a big project and um, like my neighbor Hungary in everything, we share the rooms together um, and we share always the same number, <laughs> you know, in everything. So we were laughing also, Miss and Mr. Ineska, so we were laughing at this, you know, really awesome. Um, he also told that um, he gave everything he had. Uh, you really, when you're uh, presenting your own country, you not, you're not presenting yourself, you know, you're presenting so much more. And it's a big honor and a big responsibility. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. International Press for Croatia. Lady there, stand up please. Get the microphone. Hello, Melitza Sunogorets, Belgrade, Serbia, Daily Newspapers, Courier. Nina, congratulations. Thank you you. said that you are surprised uh, about uh, your country in final, but uh, are you surprised uh, for Montenegro and Bosnia and Herzegovina didn't make it to the final? Oh, uh, that's a tricky thanks. question. Uh, well, thank you. Um, <laughs> Oh, God, this is hard to answer. I don't know, you know, we thought because uh, Bosnia has a really good um, foundation here in Sweden and, you know, in the world, uh, I was thinking that they will actually go to the finals, um, but obviously I'm surprised even because of me and because of them. You never know what will, you know, what will happen, so I'm, a, I'm surprised, yeah, I have to say, but in... Like I said, it's really, it's really hard to say something about other countries. You want everyone to go, you know, because I know, uh, I'm pretty sure that we did the best that we can. Everybody, every one of us. 
because you're leaving everything you have on that stage. Everything, like literally everything. So, yeah. Thank you. I'm afraid it's <laughs> Yeah, yeah, definitely. Perfect. Good feeling on stage? Ah, uh, brilliant, man. I, 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 didn't, I didn't feel like I was performing for 150 million people. Was it the thing that happened with the 10 seconds? Was it ex accepted? I mean, did you like it? Was the reaction positive? Oh, man. The people were screaming. It was, it was, it was all, I, all I hoped for, really. Do we have Yoko from AMP? Are you? Yes, I have a microphone there. Hey, hon. Dawa, congratulations. Thank you. Um, you've always said your only goal here would be to win. Of course, that was some of your charming bluff, but now you did make it to the final. Yeah. How are you going to make sure to bring this trophy to Amsterdam? Well, I think I can, I can speak for all of us here at the table. If we say, if I say that, we've, we've all come here with one, with one goal and one aim, and that is to bring home the trophy, right guys? That is it, right? So, this, I'm going to do all I can, you know, right? Which is very hard to, for me to say, <laughs> since every, everyone's sitting next to me here, you know? Every, every, everyone's here. But to say, well, you know, it's just, I think, I think we've, we've got a strong song. And I think, uh, I do believe in the less is more, uh, the less is more uh, thing we do. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. Gentleman here in a white t-shirt, please. Hi, Dawa. Congratulations. Hey. Thank you. I'm from be Europe and Canada. Um, a lot of your friends and family are here already, but yeah. who's the first one you're gonna call or text in the Netherlands? First I'm gonna call or text, probably my, uh, my best friend, uh, Chanquito, which I grew up with, and he's, uh, he's a big uh, ballet dancer in uh, Holland, and that's, that's my best, best friend, so I'll, I'll definitely call him first. You, you haven't called him yet. I have. What are you going to say? I've 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 actually been 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 called by a, by a few uh, TV stations. So I I didn't I didn't have the time yet, but I but I will. Congratulations! You made the Netherlands proud. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> there we go, buddy. Thank you, my friend. Groen. <laughs> First half. First half. For that one. From Netherlands. Now, Iveta, Armenia. Hello. What were your first words when you saw and heard your name? You know, honestly, honestly. You know, I honestly tell you one thing. You always dream about the situation and then suddenly you appear in it and then it is reality. And of course, you know, the feedback was so amazing, and everybody was like, "Oh, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna slay the first semi-final." But still, when you sit there, I was like this. I was so shocked. But so, when they called out the name and the, the country, Armenia, I was so happy. And I really, really want to use this chance and say thank you to all the Swedish production team, to all the Eurovision originals. Please clap for them because they. about the whole job and if they wouldn't be we wouldn't have this performances so I'm really really thankful it, the whole thing was just too short you know I would like to be long on stage this thing that I felt after the three minutes let's go with local press Armenia yes please stand up have a microphone here 
Hi, I represent our new website, Museum Style. Congratulations to all the participants on passing to the final. And of course, Iveta, thanks for making us so proud of you. Iveta, what do you, do you feel right now? And did you expect such kind of support from the fans of the contest from the beginning, when everything started? You know, I never take something for granted. And I think it's a privilege that I'm allowed to live and feel right now. So I really, really don't want to stress in any situation because I really want to, you know, when I'm when I'm getting old, one day, <laughs> I really want to remember. I won't. Thank you so much. <laughs> no, no, no. You, he's so nice to me. I don't know why. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> I really want to remember the whole thing. This is a situation in my life, you know, that is unforgettable. So I really want to enjoy every second. And I'm so thankful for all the voters who voted for me and for each one of us because they did it with so much passion and with so much love. So I'm really, really thankful. And I really don't take this everything for granted. So I'm really thankful for everything. Thank you. Tori Vernier, International Press. Iveta, Hi. The, I'm Torbjörn from Swedish newspaper Aftonbladet. The flag of Nagorno-Karabakh is one of the most politically charged flags of Europe. Why did you choose to raise that flag in the green room today? You know, thanks for the question. I was expecting this question, to be honest. You know, you don't have to forget that I'm representing my country and my heart, my thoughts, my feelings and my whole emotions. Even though 150 million people are watching, my thoughts are with my motherland. And I, all I want to call out, to spread, is that please, I just want peace on borders. Armenia wants just peace. And this is why I wrote this song. I just want to spread love waves. I wrote this song exactly because this is what's going on inside of me. I just want to have peace everywhere. I'm living in Germany and I'm Armenian and you know, I'm international. I grew up like this. So all I want is peace and just spread the love wave. And that's why I've put out the flag because I really want to, people to concentrate on, on that. I just want to. Thank you. Thank you, Iveta. Okay, Dawa will fix that probably. <laughs> Sorry, Dawa. No, it's definitely. Good sport. Hey! Happy face. <laughs> Thank you very much, Iveta. Sergey!